Canelo's all upset that the fans in Mexico, because I remember I was telling Sean about it. There's a video, man. This guy in Spanish is giving it to Canelo when he was there watching his brother fight Antonio Margarito. And Margarito looked like crap, y'all. They were they were they were entertaining the idea of having a fight in May with Antonio Margarito. And I think they finally finna shoot that down. And that's a good idea because he looked like crap. They can't sell that. I mean, they're trying to sell Liam Smith. That's why they threw it in Texas. You know, people be happy just to see Canelo and they can just sell it. Like, who's going to be? A, he's the best fighter at 140 and 54 pounds. I've never seen a fighter like Liam Smith. <laughs> you guys just don't know. And then uh, people in his hometown are telling me Liam Smith is something else. Like, just wait. He's going to destroy Canelo. Wait till Canelo feel that power from... I just like I just don't feel like that's the best move to bet on a guy named Beefy. I know we got a guy named Cinnamon, but you know, Cinnamon and Beefy. That's just you know, it's I don't know. You 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 make the joke for that. But anyway, he's all sensitive and worked out talking about Mexicans are too harsh against their own people. Look, Canelo, it's like this. They're harsh against BS. What Mexican fighter that Mexico fighters don't support? That's dumb because they actually support you. If you're doing well, if you're doing the thing, they want to support you. They want to love you. But they can't if you're giving them BS. You see, they got they love Chavez. Okay? That's it. Every fighter from Mexico, I can't name a fighter they didn't root for. They rooted for Margarito. They rooted for Rafael Marquez, Juan Manuel Marquez, everybody from over there, Arce. They know for loving their fighters. The only two fighters I know that get really get just we can't stand them is Chavez Jr. and you. Now you do the math and figure out why in the world would they hate on you and Chavez Jr. Hmm, Amir Khan. Hmm, uh, you know, Liam Smith. You know, those are two reasons right there, you know, to just say, hey, man, look, Golovkin's the fight. It's not happening. We need to know why. And that's what the people in your country not just here in America, your country, because they watch HBO all the time. They love boxing. They want to see Triple G and you fight. And now, to them, in their eyes, they think you are afraid. So, you, have, you can't blame nobody for that. Blame your own marketing team. Everybody who didn't believe in you. Blame them, because they set you up for disaster. They put you in a bad spot to make you look bad. Had you up there saying, I don't run, we fight. And the next thing you know, the fight can't be made. Now they looking at you. So everybody's going to believe Golovkin team is ready to fight and yours is not. And a fight against Liam Smith and Amir Khan are pretty examples of we don't trust you to win. Now I gave you a lot of credit because you fought Laura, you fought Floyd Mayweather. You know, those are not easy fights, but you fought them. You know, and not too many people took those type of fights. So, I gave you a lot of credit for that. You fought Austin Trout, that's a tough fight. You fought Miguel Cotto when Cotto was the champion. You know, I gave you a lot of credit for those. Didn't, you know, dump on you at all, but you know how this business works. You've been in it long enough. So you already know what it is. Should be no surprise here. So if you're Canelo Alvarez, you got to roll with the punches, baby. Got to take the bitter with the sweet. You know, you got all the millions of dollars coming in. This is the price you pay. You think Floyd Mayweather don't have it like this? But this is 10 times worse than yours. And you know where he's at right now? Doing whatever the hell he want to do. I'm out.